when are women going, black women in particular, going to understand that y'all been duped, that y'all got tricked? Because when they did the whole feminist thing, the only race of people that denied their men was black women. Like all the shit that was, they was talking. The only people that fell for a hook, line, and sinker and put ten toes down on it was black women. And now look at the white family structure ain't in, in trouble. The Mexican yes, family structure. Oh, yes, God. it is. That's why they took that abortion not. bullshit off that no, fucking no, table. No, it's thing. Not. I'm tired of if, like if, if you really think if you really think that a white family structure <laughs> is in is in trouble, then I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to think because hey, so, yo, so, bro, so, so, so if that's the case, then who has a stronger family structure than white people? Nobody right now, who? yo. All of them are fucked up. <laughs> like, oh, so, so so wait a minute. So you tell me all the family structures are fucked up right now. Yo, go go look for you. Damn, I wish she was in this town. I'm gonna speak for the town I'm in, yes. No, I'm talking about in general, all the way around, not just your town. I'm talking about everybody. I, I wouldn't be able to tell you about in general. I can only tell you about the state of New Jersey or the state of New York, but all families are fucked up right now. Because even the white families, I don't care if their parents are together. Man. Most of the time, the dad is fucking assaulting somebody to fuck But they parents. stay and together. Them kids kill but they stay parents. together, though. So the kids the still see that two family household. You don't really see, like, you're making it seem like there's as many single family black households as it is for all the other races. That's not true. No, not as far as single family, no. That's what he's saying. The the family structure. Not as far as single family, but no offense or nothing. Some of the two parent households in these white people houses are more toxic than a single fucking black family. The whole agenda was women were powerless. And so in order to get power, they, they created a movement. And these white women that was started, they started the movement because black women definitely didn't start it. These same white women that said they, that were, they didn't have power, they now have power within their family structure. Us, okay. what, we, what we decided to do was, oh, we want power, period, without no family structure because I don't need a man, I don't need no family. Women now say, who say I even want to be married? White women still get married in college. They still getting married at the rate they've been getting married. They're getting divorced at the similar rate they've been divorcing. But not us. Because we used to be married up here with low divorce rate. Now it's all like this. Getting higher. So I'm trying to figure out why y'all feel like y'all don't need leadership if shit is going like this now. Find me a leader, fucker. <laughs> Find me a leader. When the student shows up, the teacher arrives. Listen, the, the teacher, find me a leader, baby. Find me a leader. This this personal opinion, this don't got nothing to do with the world or nothing. I ain't seen one yet. That is crazy. I, I'm so serious, but, but you gotta understand. Y'all already know about my family dynamics. So I've been pretty independent for a long time, even as a little ass kid. Like I had to learn everything on my own. The shit that I watched, you know what I'm saying? So two parent households wasn't the best thing in my fucking eyes, not from my household. So me being as strong as I am, or I decided to not wait for a man to come lead me or wait for a man to buy diapers and milk. Like I've never been that type of person. My dependency on anyone outside of me has never been there. I have my own structures. Everybody has their own structure. I've never been able to depend on nobody. It's always yep. been just me. So that's already instilled in me. It has nothing to do with being independent or not wanting a man. That's just the stock that I built myself off of. So that mentality is going to ride with me. But show me one. I'm telling you. Show me one. Right, so your yeah. uncle that you said that was the person that you kind of would that's like. That's what I've ever seen. So was he married? He was married. All right, my mom that passed away is actually my aunt. My birth mom's still alive. My aunt raised me from two days on old enough. Her and my uncle have always been married. Say, listen, they got three kids. All three kids are his. He's never had any outside kids. He's never, as far as I know, let me close my mouth. As far as I know, he don't have no outside kids. And never cheated. I've never seen any uh, despicable behavior jump out of this man ever. Like he crosses, he crosses his legs when he sits down to drink his coffee. This is like the most successful relationship that you know of, right? Absolutely. In that relationship, do you feel like she was the leader or he was the leader? 
she was the leader. Why you say that? Um, because she was more like Claire Hustable. She handled that house. That man ain't had to sweep, mop, iron, nothing. Everything was prepared for him. His lunch was put out. She handled that family, including paying the bills after he dropped it off in the bank or however the shit goes. She was the spine of her family. And he will even tell you, without my wife, I don't know where I would be. Because Absolutely. even though he can't, even though he provided, she was the glue that kept everything together. That man never had the stress because that woman handled everything that needed to be handled within the household, including taking care of his mind, body, and soul. That don't make her the leader. That make her a great help me. Right. If you it came show. down to like a decision or something, my that aunt ran the show. To be made. My aunt ran the show. My uncle brought everything he wanted to do to my aunt, and it was her decision of what she wanted to do. That's how he did it. I don't know why it was like that, but if he wanted to move anything major, listen, babe, I'm trying to move to this place. How do you feel about it? Because I'm going to go based off of your decision. Everything was built and customized around her. If she wasn't comfortable with it, he not doing it. He going to find another outlet that she's actually comfortable with. He, so that, that you don't think that that makes him a great leader? Because right. he to no, he was an awesome leader. That's not what I'm saying. They were both leaders. They ran a, they amongst themselves. They weren't. They weren't. That's like a two-headed thing. Anything two-headed is not going to work. Leader. They That's have two leaders. Well, he wasn't the leader. I'm going to tell you that much. He wasn't the leader. So, what I'm saying is someone had to leave. Yeah, that was mom's. It wasn't him. If her foot went down, that pussy don't budge. I think at I all. Think I still think that that you looking at it wrong. No, that I'm, he listen. was a, a leader because she was such a great follower. Right. So he no, knew that. No, listen. You said I show you what. Asian background. She was the leader. She ran it. They, that dynamic was very um different, but she was definitely the leader. She was the shot caller. So okay, so that that's was a different. True. So that's different. Okay. But, yes. so, 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 so we was talking about traditional, but really the traditional we talking about ain't traditional because what you're talking about is different what you're looking for. So what you're looking for is the ability to be the leader in the relationship because that's no. what your because that's no. what your because that's what no. your uncle. What, no, but you you just I don't want to be the leader. That's, that's I don't want to be my aunt. I don't want to be the leader. That that's what but I'm saying. Like said you I like the type like of man uncle. that he was, and I prefer a man like that. But I'm not talking about as far as him not being a shot caller part. All the parts of him that made him a man. The parts of him, like when I skinned my knee and he kissed my boo-boo. The little things that men do when it comes to taking care of their loved ones and making sure they're okay, you know, and being protective. I love that part of him. But as far as, I don't I don't want to be the shot caller. I actually want somebody to take that off my plate and start making the decisions for me. I want to break. I want to go into feminine era and don't have to worry about nothing because I know this man got it. I would love to let my hair down and stop having to make every fucking decision. Don't think I don't want that. I do. I'm tired. I'm 42 yeah. still making every decision. Shit, find me a leader, please. Everybody want to make a million dollars, but don't nobody want to put the work in to do it. Like, that. I don't so, want to. So my I thing is. I don't want to put the work in. I'm just, well, you say that. I put the work you in. Say that. You say that, so why right? I'm not putting the work in on the good one. You, you say. That makes logical sense what you just said. But you say that, right? But I can sit here and tell you, all right, look, how about if you try looking at stuff like this? You only going to do that for like five minutes, I promise you. And, 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 and if you want to prove me wrong, we can start a little series. We, we can start a series. Let's I, start that series. Let's do it. Because you got to get to know me for real. Because, because cause I do, because don't give me, don't let me hold you. I do believe that that's what you want. Absolutely. I I believe it. I just think that you've been so deep in it that you might not see it. Although I have, if I have faith in anybody, it is you for real. But I'm saying based on how you just. Oh. I'm willing to try something new because obviously how I've been going about shit ain't get me nowhere. So why not try something new? What's going to the, the, the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. Mm -hmm. Do something right. different so you can get a different result. Right. I'm a person that learns one time from my mistakes. I don't repeat them ever. Okay. So with that being said, let's try something different. Why would I just okay. do it for five minutes? If I'm looking for what I'm looking okay. for, I'm going to keep searching for it. Okay. All right. We're going to work on it. We that. can definitely start a series because child, listen, find me a real one. Think I'm playing. 
let ah call him daddy and everything. He might get, oh, yeah. he might get <laughs> steak on Tuesdays and a steak on Thursdays. Hey, what I they know about it? Y'all don't know about that. Go back to the other video. I know a lot of bitches don't want me to say it out loud. Let's be real. We are less likely inclined to give ass to niggas that ain't worth shit than we are the ones that is worth shit. Like you gonna get head and fucking taco, suck suck me down Tuesdays and a motherfucking steak, bitch. You gonna get head on Tuesday and a fucking steak on, on a regular basis when you're on point and doing the fuck you need to be doing. <laughs> I, I, I got him. What? Anytime he come in looking dirty. Hey, yo, hurry, we go take a shower so I can suck your dick. You looking so nice today. Oh, manly looking at you. Was at work. I got dinner for you, too. What? And I turn around and make a snack. Find me a real one.